Hello, this is day three of my 10 day challenge where I draw house plants. This is the plant that I'll be drawing. So this program I'm using is called Vectornator and it just updated right before I started drawing this. Um, and I kind of wish I hadn't let it update because I don't like the changes. Um, hopefully I'll get used to it. Um, but if you were wondering if this series is a promotion for the Vectornator software, it's not. I'll probably stick with it though, because um, I do like drawing in vector. So unless something else comes along um, that I prefer, I'll continue using this. So in my last video, I talked about the reality of having multiple interests and how the different interests can be mutually reinforcing or mutually beneficial somehow. This time I thought I'd talk about how the way we work are all different. You know, everyone has their own unique um, way of working and you kind of have to experiment to find out what is the right way of working for you. For example, this 10 day challenge thing. First of all, 10 days isn't that long for a challenge. Uh, lots of people do 100 days and, you know, much, much more impressive lengths of time. Um, but for me, doing something consistently for 10 days is kind of unusual. I tend to have a set of projects that I do in parallel um, each quarter. I usually have about four. Um, each one is in a different area. Some are maybe fiction writing, some are research, uh, reading up, blogging, that kind of thing. And so I usually bounce around between projects. I kind of batch them. I have batched portions and then I have portions where I kind of nibble. Um, so some, some weeks I'm working on bits and pieces of all my projects and some weeks I'm focusing intensely on one and just doing many tasks in a row. Um, and this wasn't obvious for me and I still don't know if this is going to be right for me uh, forever, but it seems to be working now and it's better than the things I've tried before. And so doing this 10 day project kind of in between all the other stuff and sort of in parallel with the other stuff is a way for me to, you know, get some drawing in, get some recovery time from all the reading and stuff that I'm doing. And also a, a kind of easy entryway to making YouTube videos, which is something I haven't really done before. And, and so it's kind of an experiment and there isn't really a good way for me to know what style of working is going to be right until I try it and kind of observe what happens and what problems I have with with the way I'm currently working because there's there's tons of different schemes out there tons of like productivity advice and I'm not crazy about most of it it seems a little absolute um and you know, everyone's pretty much sharing what works for them. And that's great. I think people should definitely do that. But the problem is sometimes when people think that just because something worked for them and made a huge difference, it is going to work for everybody. Um, it's kind of like if someone had a vitamin deficiency and then they took that vitamin and they felt a ton better and now they think that, you know, this vitamin is kind of a cure-all for everybody. And they go around telling people, just take this vitamin and you'll feel better. Because I took this vitamin and I feel better. And that advice only works for people who have the same deficiency. And I think 
that happens with productivity stuff a lot. There are a lot of people who talk about how, you know, the one trick to being productive is to schedule everything into their calendar um, or to have all these deadlines or create all these for- forcing functions that are going to put all this pressure on you to to make things work. And I think that works if you have the same problems and difficulties as the person making the suggestion has. And if not, it's going to be like taking vitamin C when you don't have a vitamin C deficiency. Um, anyway, so here's the drawing I made. And here's what I just drew. And anyway, I hope that was interesting. And I guess what I wanted to say is, if you're going to listen to advice, listen to a whole lot of advice, and then experiment for yourself. Anyway, see you next time.